Hello, my name is Mike Deal, and I will be presenting Dichromatic Color Vision. So, since there are many types of color blindness, I will be presenting Dichromatic Color Vision. Um, normal color vision in humans is usually trichromatic, meaning that there's three cones. Uh, the short cone, the medium cone, and the long cone, as you can see on the right. Uh, the short cone allows us to perceive the color blue, the medium cone allows us to perceive the color green, and the long cone allows us to perceive the color red. Now, people who are dichromatic or have dichromatic color blindness only have two of these cones working. This is due to a mutation in the OPN genes. As you can see here, um, the OPN1SW gene is actually the gene encoded for the blue or the short cones and respected to the other cones as well. Um, so people who are, who have, sorry, people who have protonopia are red color blindness. So they can't see the color red, which means either their long cones are either not there or the existing long cones that they had were uh, mutated and do not function properly due to the gene mutation. Uh, people who have deuteranopia uh, are green colorblind, meaning that they can't really perceive the color green. And people who, are tr who have tridenopia are blue colorblindness. Now, in the following step, or in the following slides, I will be showing you guys uh, a picture that I have taken or I have gathered. And I'm going to put it through that sequential order. I'm going to put it in protonopia, deuteranopia, and tritonopia. But then after that, I'm going to have another one that shows achromatopsia. So now achromatopsia is the actually no color vision at all. Uh, achromatopsia is actually a different disorder with other side effects that it has, like nystagmus, um, irritability to light. They're called, they, they say that they have day blindness, meaning that light is really sensitive to their eyes. And of course, like I said, they can't perceive color. So here we go to the normal or to the pictures. So if you didn't see already, this is actually the first picture of the PowerPoint on the intro slide. Uh, it was a recommended picture for me, and I was just like, "Oh, it'd be pretty cool if I put this through the um, the test here with the simulator that I found." So as you can see here, this is just normal trichromatic color vision. Now pay attention to the red. As you can see here, the reds and the grays and the blue and the, the reds and the greens and the reds and the browns kind of look the same. This is a protonopia picture. Here is a deuteranopia picture. So the greens are also the kind of same to red and brown. But then we have the tritonopia picture, which is blue color blindness. So you can see here, I think that was the greens, the blues, uh, the yellows kind of stick out by themselves. But the reds and the browns look the same. Uh, the purples, the greens, the blues all kind of look the same. And here is a chromatopsia, which is uh, kind of astonishing that somebody actually sees just in grays, blacks, and whites. Uh, I really think that can change somebody's life. Now here, implementing it into a modern day uh, like idea with traffic cones, traffic lights, uh, stop signs, Many people who are colorblind struggle with driving in this stuff, but once they grow up, obviously they can tell the order, like the top would mean stop, the bottom would be go, but you will be shocked how close these colors look with a certain, with a certain color blindness. <clears throat> so this is uh, normal color vision. Here's protonopia. You can see here that they kind of all look the same already. They're all, like you can tell the, nor the yellow is kind of normal, but the red and the green, they're almost the same color and they're almost identical. Here's deuteranopia, the same thing as before. The red and the green are kind of almost the same. The yellow's a little more distinguished. Tritonopia makes the yellow look like a pink, but uh, the green and the red are very distinguishable. You can tell the difference. So I'm assuming people who are tritonopias, or tritonopes, sorry about that, are um, they probably have different things struggling with driving or any sort of real life implication of that matter. But I think 
proteinopia and deuteranopia um, affects people who are driving a lot. And here's achromatopsia. As I said earlier, it's just black, white, gray. It kind of looks like those old movies, but um, <clears throat> this is what it looks like. So moving on, since Easter just happened, this is actually a picture I've just taken. Um, it's my mom's jelly bean container. And as you can see inside, there's a bunch of colorful jelly, jelly beans. Uh, I was like, these are colorful. So these is, or this is a perfect thing to take a picture of from a color blindness slide. They don't look so appetizing if, you're, uh, if you have protonopia. It kind of looks like the blues look okay, but um, the reds, the greens, the yellows are a little bit different. Uh, here is deuteranopia. As I said, <clears throat> excuse me, um, the blue does look the same, but now it's kind of like the greens and the reds are in there, the pinks are in there, all kind of looking the same. The yellows are a little bit of a different color. And this would be tritinopia, which actually kind of looks good because I like the, uh, the red and the pink and the blue. Um, but those, those ones that kind of look purplish don't look that appetizing to me. So I just, I think it's funny how we associate color also with flavoring. So the people who are colorblind would be astonished to this. And here is achromatopsia. <clears throat> like I said, Easter just passed. So here are these little glass ceramic eggs that my mom and my family had for a very long time. But uh, this is the normal trichromatic color vision. This is the proteinopia one. Here's deuteranopia. And then we have tritinopia, like I said, with the following achromatopsia. Easter just isn't that fun without any colors, with those very, like very vibrant pastel colors. But yeah, this is one of my favorite pictures. This is one of my favorite balls that I have. Um, since I do play soccer, I was like, I was kicking around one day and I saw this ball and I was like, oh, wow, it's kind of red and green, that kind of a color spectrum. So I think I held it up in my backyard and I went to see um, if there was anything affected with the ball because of the color blindness slides that we're doing. So here you can look, at, this is normal color vision, but once I change it to protonopia, it doesn't even look like the same ball. The black and the white stay the same. But the pink becomes more green or blue, which I think this is one of my favorite ones. I think that's awesome right there, that little switch. But uh, like I said, this is protonopia. Here would be deuteranopia, where it's kind of more yellow all around. And then here's tritinopia, where, as you can see here, the yellow, it was kind of yellow in the other two here. Here it's turned blue which is very surprising. And it also has um, changed to a darker, like a more dark pink, a red around the ball. But as you can also see in the background, the sky is pretty much the only thing that's there. The green is pretty much gone, but it's pretty much the ball, my arm, this color of my arm in the sky. And then this would be a chromatopsia. <clears throat> now this is a funny one. Uh, I was just recently on Snapchat with my friend. You can see right here, this is my one friend, George, one of my closest friends since we were born, and his sister, but his dad is actually colorblind. So he was like, oh, wow, that's really sweet of you guys. You're matching today? And he was like, no, dad, what are you, what are you talking about? We're not, we're not matching at all. She's wearing pink and I'm wearing green, but he's colorblind. So they were like, yeah, I don't know what kind of colorblind I am. So I, it turns out that I, I helped him figure out that he's actually a protonopia. He has protonopia, which is uh, the, red, the red blindness. So this is the normal vision. Next, we will see what he sees, which is actually surprisingly the same color almost. As you can see here as before, my friend George's shoes are pink and his shirt is green while his sister's pullover is pink, the same color as his shoe they all turn out to be about the same color, which is what I think really, really amazing. Like, I think it's funny that he thinks they're matching when they actually look like this. 
uh, it shows the real life implication of how drastic colorblindness can be. Um, so here is protonopia. Here is deuteranopia. Tritonopia. And then the last one would be achromatopsia, which would be in black and white. And that would be the end. So thank you so much for watching this and hope you are all staying safe and having a good time in quarantine. Uh, thank you so much for everything and bye.